hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back again with another video today's video is going to be very different i have a friend who's going to be asking me questions it's a story time so stay tuned for the video Hello you guys, name is Ali Poppy. As you mentioned it, like, it would be a story time and I'm just here today to be asking her questions and this is a like really different video. Not just for her even for me. Very different. Yeah, so we might be emotional. Um uh, I will say this. If you don't feel like answering the question, you can always tell me like you don't want to answer it. Okay. And if you don't if you need like a break can also say that okay yeah so it's about her i'm just here to do uh the question and he's just gonna be helping out and asking me questions yeah. about the topic we're gonna be talking about yeah it's pretty much gonna be like a conversation but like with questions stuff yeah like that. it's personal so very personal yeah, so but shall we start yes let's start all right so how are you <laughs> she's, i'm she's good smiling. how you doing i'm honestly really really good that's good. Yeah, so, are you, should we start? Yes, let's get into the video. Okay, alright. Now, before, like, we get to the whole, like, thing, I just, the topic is pretty much, you want to go ahead and say what it is? You can say the topic. Alright, so. I can say it. So, the topic will be about my dad. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah. Alright, so, it's going to be a really... Deep conversation. Deep, deep conversation. And I'm going to try so hard not to cry because... It's okay It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so before I ask any question, I just want to go ahead and, like, you know, like, tell me, like, how was your day like? My day was actually good. No. Went to work. Yeah? And came back home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did you do anything exciting today? No, just work. Just regular work day. Yeah, nothing okay. new. I guess it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I actually had a good day. Yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> did, did you smile a lot today? <laughs> I'm always smiling. Ain't nothing yeah, you, new. You, you I'm see, a happy you person. Yes, see that. And okay, that's that's really good. I'm glad you had a good day. And uh, I think we'll, um, we should start the video Let's get now. into the video so we don't make it really long for people to get bored and stuff. Okay, now, um, first, tell me about your dad. How how was he like? He was a really nice man, caring, loving, very helpful. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, alright. Okay, so, your dad is uh, no longer here with us. Unfortunately, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, when did he pass away? August eighth, two thousand fifteen. It's been a long time. Five years in August. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Okay. It is hard. And like for the people who don't know what happened, like, can you like tell us in a brief story of like what, what happened? The story? cause of his death, or yeah, pretty much. So like him and my mom and two other friends of theirs, they were going on a trip to Utah and they got into a car accident. Okay. Nothing caused the accident. The car just started rolling over. Two people survived and two people died. Jeez. So my dad was one of the person that died along with my mom's best friend. And my mom survived along with the driver. Was, yeah. your mom, was your mom uh, injured? Yes, injured? she was very injured. It took like almost a year for her to kind of recover, but she's pretty good now. Okay, that's good. That's still tough. healing, but she's better than she was. The pain is still there? Like, yeah. But the body injured? Yes. And it's tough. But she's healing. She's better. Okay, right, all right. Okay, so... Uh, you said it was a car accident. Now, when this when this uh, all happened, like, where were you? I was actually out of town. I was like two hours away from home. 
two hours away from I was in Twin Falls. Okay, well, well, uh, could you tell us what you was doing? My brother and I had went to a friend's uh, birthday party okay. that day. We actually went the same day they went on the trip, but we went like really early in the morning and they went to Utah like around around 2 or yeah. 12 after like the church service because it was on a Saturday. I think it was on a Saturday or a Sunday. I'm pretty sure it was on a Saturday. They went right after church. Probably like the weekend. Yeah, they went right after church. So. Looking, uh, I was actually supposed to go on that trip with them. Jesus. But like somehow, like I woke up in the morning and I was like, maybe I shouldn't go on this trip. I don't really feel comfortable. Imagine. So like I just decided to go to the friend's graduation. I mean, birthday party. Okay. Uh, so like, how did you know? Like, how did you get the news? Like, where did you get these questions from? What the hell, Oliver? <laughs> you got like deep questions. Okay, ask the question again. I say, uh, how did you get the news? Like. How did you get the news and who broke the news down to you? Well, like, my sisters called me. They didn't, actually, they called the person that we was at, like, mm -hmm. at the party. And, like, all they did was just, they just kept crying and they just kept saying, I can't believe what happened. That's all they kept saying. Like, they didn't tell me what happened. They just kept, like, crying on the phone and then hanging up. And I kept calling back and I'm like, what happened? And then they're just like, you guys are not here and what happened is just bad and I'm just like are you gonna tell me what happened or are you just gonna keep crying and then she hung up the phone and then I started crying because when, crying. yeah when somebody starts crying I start crying too so I was in the room and I started crying I walked out of the room and some lady came up to me and she was like it's true and I was like what's true like what are you talking about and she just kept saying it's true and I'm just like is anybody going to talk to me about anything? Because my brother was, like, outside. So he didn't know. No, he didn't know. And I just started crying, and I'm like, what's true? Like, everybody started looking at me, and they're like, it's true, your dad passed away. I was like, I was just with him, like, in the morning, you know? Like, what do you right, mean right, he right. passed away? Like, yeah. this man looked so fine. Like, he was not sick. He was okay. So I'm just like, are you guys just playing with me or whatever? And they're like, no, he passed away, and they're in the hospital so like they try to switch the story up to tell me that he was okay so i don't cry they're like oh they're at the hospital right now and then i was like you guys just told me that he's dead and they're like they're at the hospital we still don't know what's going on and then i kept calling my sisters and they just didn't respond and whenever they responded they just kept crying and i'm just like is anybody gonna tell me like the actual story mm -hmm. and then um after they told told me the whole story uh, they said, we're about to come get you guys. But they didn't tell me, like, if he died or not. But, like, I knew something was up because right. you can't just call me crying saying, oh, it's true, this happened. So they didn't break it down to us until, like, the next morning, like, around 4 in the morning when my brother and I got to Boise. And that's when they decided to tell us that he had passed along with my mom's best friend. So. That's tough. Now imagine you at a party. Right, imagine I'm like enjoying yeah, and then, my like, day. That happened and you're at a party, especially yeah. I feel like that's really... It's, it it's was hard. like, like my body just froze and I just started like, I started running outside hoping something would hit me. I was like, this is crazy, like I just seen him this morning and all this just happened so quick. How how close were you with your, with your dad? Honestly, he was the only person I was close to in the family. Really? Yeah. It's like, he's the only person I would really speak to about anything in the family. Like, I wasn't even close to my mom. It was only him. Yeah, I wasn't even close to my siblings until, like, my dad passed away. Like, I just started getting close to my siblings and my mom. But he was, like, the only person I was actually close to. It's like, he understood me more better than anybody else in his family. And yeah, I think you, people can also see that. The reaction you get when you t talk about it, not yeah. even just that, like, it seems like y'all had a really, really good run. We mm -hmm. did. Alright. I was gonna ask you how do you react it, but you, I think you already did that. Okay, now, uh, okay, move, like, fast forward, like, after that happened. Uh, after, like, he passed away and stuff? Yeah, after, uh, when he passed, up, passed away. Well, like, stuff. I was not myself. I'm still not myself, but, like, I try, you know? Yeah. 
but like i literally did not eat for like five months straight like i stopped eating and i was just hoping one day like sometimes when i go to sleep i would hope that i don't wake up and sometimes i would hope that i wake up for my family to tell me oh this was all a dream you know he's still around there's times where like i wouldn't even leave my room i would just sleep and sleep hoping that i don't wake up and there was actually times where i just wanted to end my life i was just like you know he's gone it's pointless i don't think i can do this like it's just crazy how life can just strike and change yeah like especially like a person that you just seen in the morning right right and they were not sick at all and then boom somebody calls you and tells you tells you that yeah it's just it was crazy and i think it's it's even more harder when like it's like a parent yeah especially like you say you had a really really close Mm -hmm. relationship i think that's even more like like death has never hit me that hard until like i lost my father and i bet that changed like a lot of things around your life yes i had to learn to grow up fast and get closer to other people let people it's like so hard sometimes like when my mom calls me i be so scared like when she calls me more than one time i be so scared i'm like what's going on now like what's happening like i'm triggered like my whole mind it's just like like, yes it's like whenever i get a phone call from my family members i'd be so scared hoping that nothing bad happens it's just So basically, the whole the whole first year after that, not even just the first year, but I'm pretty sure the, like that first year it was really hard for you. It was really hard, and like, just, like your family as well. Yes, depression. I feel like I reacted to it differently than, than they did, though. Else. Cause, Cause you say you did mention that you had a really really yeah, close relationship. Cause with. I don't know. I would wake up and everybody looked so fine. They're smiling, and in my head, I'm just like, how's how are they happy? Like. Yeah. How are they like moving so fast with this and I'm just over here so stressed. I'm depressed. I'm not eating. I'm not doing nothing. Like I'm just in my room crying and just like what's going on? I still can't believe this. Right. And it was like during my junior year in high school. Jeez. So it was hard. I was It's funny cuz the day before he passed away, yeah. I was actually talking to, talking to him about school and how I had like a year left and I was so excited. Mm-hmm. You know, hoping that he won't see me walk the stage, but yeah. all this is crazy. How did you continue with school? Like, did you Honestly, I going? gave up for like two months. Yeah, you didn't go? No, I didn't go. Like, every time I would go, I would have a whole mental breakdown in class. And like, my teachers, everybody knew, so like, they didn't really, they yeah. told me if I didn't feel comfortable to you just go to home. Go. Yeah, okay. so they pretty much like, excused it. But I would still try to go, but then... It did not work out because every time like I'll sit there, mm-hmm. the only thing I'll be thinking about is my dad. Like that's all I kept thinking about. Like I had a whole image in my head, and I'm just like, I just kept seeing flashes. You know, I'm just like, this man is really gone. Like I won't be able to see him no more. Yeah. It was just, it was hard, but somehow, I managed to continue and graduate high school, and I'm still here. So. Mm-hmm. I'm strong enough, you know. I fought the battles and. Okay, no. Uh, over time, how did you like? How did you learn like to cope with the situation, like to uh, deal with it? When... Honestly, I would pray every day, okay. asking God to give me strength, and just I like I had lost faith, like, for like almost literally two years. Mm-hmm. I lost faith for two years, cause I was praying. When they told me they was in the hospital, I prayed and I was like, God, wake them up. Let this not be true. And I'm like in tears crying. And then me, they, them calling me back saying, oh, no, they passed away. And I'm just like, God just was not listening. Like if he was really there, he would have woke them up. But I've gained my faith back and I just pray for better days. You know, things happen for a reason. Good, you strong. Stay strong. I try to be. Stay strong. I will. Okay. All right. Uh, so, what was like the biggest lesson you learned from all that? Like, 
like the whole situation was like the biggest takeaway be like after all that happened this like really what i had what honestly I had. like life is too short That's very true. love one another don't take advantage of people because you could see the person today and then the next day they're just gone not even the next day it could be like later. it could be in five seconds you could see you could see your mom your dad love your parents you know cherish the moments you got with them because life is too short and it can hit you like just that like fast that. just so quick you never know okay. so i appreciate and love your friends your family Maybe. everybody around you don't take advantage of them cherish the moments everything it's a great message yeah so do you have like any family memory with your dad that you would like to share with us? honestly i have a lot of memories with him like do you have one that like to stand out in particular like every time i was feeling really sad i would always go on a drive with him we would just drive around the city and just drive nowhere and then we would just always go get food and like he knew where where i like to eat at so he would take me to get to go get food okay. and we just drive around play music just talk about him when he was a kid and just he would just tell me stories about himself and what he went through as a kid like my age okay. but i have a lot of memories with him and i will always hold on to that because that's all i pretty much have left so So, uh, do you think, like, he would be proud of the person you became? Like, how you deal with everything, where you're at today? Honestly, and, and I... And where you're going um, uh, forward with your life? I feel like he would be really proud if he was here. And I hope he would actually be proud because I came a long way. And looking at it today and, like, five years ago, I'm not the same person I was. Because five years ago, I didn't man. think... I would even be this far I would come this far I was like in a hole like I was stuck didn't have anybody to pick me up you know I was just stuck and I was just giving up I just wanted to give up on life I didn't want to live no more I was just like you know life is pointless there's no point of living this life without my father here I am you know I stay strong I'm in college I didn't think I would have went through high school Cause my stress level was just so high and I just didn't believe I would make it through. Mm -hmm. But here I am, I got a few, like two years left of college and I'll be done. So I'm sure he would be really proud. Especially good. since I didn't give up on life. I continued and I kept pushing through, so. Okay, he is, a, he, she should be proud of you. He definitely should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, uh, last question. Hmm. What's like a message you would like to share for anybody who might be like experience a similar situation as the one you went through? If you've lost a father or a mother or a sister, anybody close to you, mm -hmm. like don't give up. Just keep praying because God hears your prayers. You may think he don't hear your prayers, but best believe he hears your prayers and he knows what you're going through. They say God don't put you through something that you cannot overcome. Man. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, so everything will eventually be okay. God gave his strongest battle to his strongest soldiers. Yes, you just gotta keep praying and have faith and just believe in him. Believe in him and everything will be okay. okay. Don't give up. Don't lose faith. Just keep fighting. Keep moving forward and you'll be okay. The biggest biggest takeaways like she said don't give up no matter what you're doing yeah it's gonna be hard you're gonna have bad days bad nights you won't sleep you know everything is just hard but you just gotta keep fighting and pushing Definitely. just keep living for them since they're not here keep living and make a difference Amen. do something that they couldn't do Make them happy and proud. Voice of the street, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. uh, there's so many questions to ask, uh, to me, and uh, I think I'm gonna just cut it there for now. And I'm honestly, I'm proud of you myself because. Thank you. Yeah. It's not an easy topic to talk about. It's really not, and for you to get on over here and mention that, 
Yeah. You're strong. I'm pretty sure you'll be a pop skin proud. Really I proud. hope so, and yeah. I'm going to keep making him proud. Okay. Until the last breath of me. And as you should. Yeah. As you should. Now, yeah, so thank you for sharing your story. I just hope I, for you guys who's out there watching, you uh, take away something from this video. A lesson, something, you know. Keep you your think. heads up. Always. Keep your head above water. That's what I like to tell people. Yes. Yeah, there's better days. At the end of the time, there's a what? There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. Uh, so yeah, and better see. days awaits for you. Just look in front of you and you'll look see better days. Look at her preaching. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And you guys... Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. And we'll see you in the next video. Yes. <laughs>